Okay, for the second part, for the determination of the uh, universal gas constant, using your glass cylinder, measure 10 ml of the concentrated hydrochloric acid. Be careful with that, it's very corrosive acid, and you have to handle that inside the film hood. Approximately 10 ml of the hydrochloric acid, add them to the burette, and the tab of the burette have to be closed. Be careful, again, because it's very corrosive. Concentrated acid. Be sure, all the acid transfer to the burette. After that, take your magnesium ribbon and bend it a little bit like that, and insert it inside your burette. And you can push it a little bit further using a glass rod like that to be around five centimeter down after that fill the rest of the burette with water till it reach almost the end and you invert it inside your beaker like that and using your burette holder adjust it at around 2 cm above the beaker level and record your reading at the top when the volume of the water is steady at the top we can see here it's around 50.2 okay now the reaction start for the magnesium ribbon with the concentrated hydrochloric acid which diffuse down the burette and the, react the reaction start to be more in progress we can see the hydrogen bubbles going up and hydrogen gas accumulated at the top of the burette pushing the water level down okay it will start go down according to the reaction progress when the reaction sees you determine the final volume Determine your final volume here, we start around 50.2 or above the 50 and now it's around 14.2 Okay, now you do the calculation In your calculation we need to consider the following The difference between the beaker and the burette Because that one is corresponding to the uh, uh, volume of water or level of the water which we have to convert it to mercury using the difference here for the water level and divided by the density of the mercury as well as we need to consider this is not only hydrogen gas there is a water vapor inside we have to correct the pressure for the hydrogen according to the uh, water vapor as well so when it comes to the calculation you have to calculate number of moles of the magnesium which is the same like number of moles for the hydrogen temperature you have to measure it using a thermometer which should be inside the lab the uh, uh, using a barometer you determine the atmospheric pressure inside the lab which you will correct it after that according to the hydrogen pressure the water vapor pressure and the difference between mercury and uh, uh, water when it comes to measuring the pressure and uh, 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 the volume of the gas and here we go now you can using the formula PV equal NRT pressure time volume equal number of moles time universal gas constant time temperature 
Now you can calculate the universal gas constant. We have to repeat this experiment three times, okay? And after that, you do your analysis. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.